This week on Machine Repeat TV. There was a big crowd on hand for this Lewisburg, North Carolina sale, and they were sure paying attention when bidding started on this super nice 8130. No creature comforts on this high crop, but it's still a collector favorite. And Tyne Morgan brings us up to date on supply chain issues facing manufacturers. Your machinery is a serious investment and at the heart of every farming operation. Some call it a passion. We're Machinery Peak TV, and today we'll cover everything from auction roundups to the classics to the latest trends and technology. Machinery Peak, the most trusted name in farm equipment. Machinery Peak thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, a big iron company. Let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. No other cornhead works like a Drago or pays you back like one. Visit your Drago dealer and see for yourself. Protect Systems, it's what professionals choose to clean, polish, and protect their equipment. Protect Systems products are easy to use and provide consistent professional results every time. Big Iron Auctions and the Share Your Legacy program, promoting the future of agriculture with amazing legacy stories from across America. Hey folks, welcome to Machine Repeat TV. We are in the southeast part of the U.S. today outside of Lewisburg, North Carolina. Been wanting to get down and, and visit my friends at E.B. Harris. E.B. and his son Shane have been a great help to me over the years. I tell you what, we have a super farm auction today. Great equipment's going to be selling, but first we need to go to my friends at Big Iron for Share Your Legacy. This week, we head to Southern Illinois and meet the Prest family who in 2001 took steps towards an impossible dream. Uh, my wife, Debbie, is a wonderful person. It's one team, one dream. Uh, we both saw the same vision. We knew where we wanted to go, and we both knew what it was gonna take to accomplish that. In 2001, Brian and I had a dream. We wanted to start our own farming operation. We were told it would never be done. Um, these things don't happen unless you have generationals handing it down to you. So we decided with 100 acres and one tractor, we were going to start our dream. First couple years, first three or four years, it was a severe learning curve. Uh, we uh, battled dry weather, uh, finding equipment. We struggled quite a bit. Uh, we know what it's like to be poor and have to work hard for everything we do. Yeah, Was that coming Being or going? That was coming. Being delivered. Our first grain cart? Our first little grain cart. Was, we were farming with junk, but we were proud. <laughs> the first several years were certainly a struggle, and then tragedy struck in 2007. We were all gone. It was a rainy Saturday, so the combine was sitting in the field. We were not harvesting. We received a, we received a phone call that our house was on fire. Total devastation when we got home. We had lost everything. Um, it was a sad, sad day. For over 20 years, hardships were overcome because of hard work, determination, and a focus on their dream. The press are leaving a legacy that will last many generations. With uh, the determination that we had, every time somebody would tell us that it can't be done, just in the back of your mind, you just kept thinking. Yes, it can. Yes, I will. I feel safe to say that we did. Can you believe this is where it all began? The original 100 acres that we got to rent, and now we were fortunate enough to, a few years back, buy it. I'm really proud of what we've accomplished, and I'm glad I've had you by my side to do it. Well, we've done it together. Couldn't imagine doing it with anybody else. Hey, stay tuned, folks, coming up. The model tractor that's clicked on the most at machinerypeat.com. We got a 7810 deer with 9,080 hours on it. For over 40 years, Big Iron has been America's trusted name in auctions. From farm equipment to real estate to livestock and classic cars, we offer full service support to all of our sellers. In 2022, Big Iron acquired Sullivan Auctioneers in an effort to elevate the level of service provided to our customers. Both companies sharing similar small town origins, our stories 
begin the same. Combined, our over 80 years of experience has established best practices to better serve our customers in the online auction space. With our large online selection of equipment, engaged bidder base, and full service approach, we take pride in consistently exceeding our customers' expectations. Big Iron Auctions and Sullivan Auctioneers, truly we are better together. I'm here with John Witter. You have quite a new solution that is going to have a lot of interest, I think, from the farm side and the dealer side. The system allows us to restore paint back to or better than factory new condition, and most importantly, we can seal and protect that paint so that we do not have to polish it again. The product bonds to the paint and just wipes off with a beautiful finish and shine. The difference in that, that's amazing. It's and pretty easy to see which side you'd like, right? Yeah. Today, when you're looking for a way to harvest more corn, you can count on Drago to get the job done. With self-adjusting deck plates, more aggressive gathering chains, and longer knife rollers for less ear bounce, Drago corn heads make every hybrid yield better. You'll like their durability too. No other corn head works like a Drago or pays you back like one. Visit your Drago dealer and see how you can justify owning a Drago on ROI alone. Hi, I'm Bob Euchre. I was five years old when Lou Gehrig gave his famous luckiest man speech. Lou retired from baseball that day because of the devastating disease known as ALS. Back then, I never imagined I would one day grow up to be a Major League Baseball player or spend my life in baseball. And I certainly didn't imagine that ALS would take my daughter Leanne's life and another close friend. ALS robs a person of their ability to walk, talk, eat, and breathe. It's been eight decades since Lou's speech, and we still don't have a cure. But we are making progress turning ALS from a fatal disease into a livable one, and we need your help to finally strike out ALS. Please join us in the fight by visiting ALS.org. Thank you. All right, all you faithful Machinery PTV viewers, I'm guessing you remember the sale we filmed 18 months ago in Keymar, Maryland, where we watched a John Deere 7810, 98 model, 914 hours, sell for a record price of 170 k Tell you what, 7810s continue to be hot. Two weeks ago in Paris, Missouri, we saw a 2000 model mechanical front, 1,552 hours on it, sell for 137.5. Uh, that was the fourth highest auction price ever. On the same day, on a farm auction in Murrayville, Illinois, we saw a two-wheel drive sell for 113,000 bucks, record on a two-wheel drive. Now today, our 7810's got 9,080 hours on it, selling with a loader. I get 27 pies, I get 30, 30, I get 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 your son Shane, I was talking to him a few weeks before the sale, and he was like, Pete, this stuff is like super nice. But beyond the equipment, he was talking about the family and the, the strong connection and the respect that they had locally. Can you, can you talk a little bit about yes. the family? Roger 
Edwards and Raymond Foster go back many, many years, many decades. And it just didn't start yesterday. This was back probably in the 50s and the 60s. And they built a foundation and earned a respect that, number one, they believed in God Almighty. They put him first. And second, they put the family. And third, they put their friends, and, but their word was their bond. And when we find out that a man's word is his bond, is what the rest of it will come together. And these folks always were on the cutting edge. They thought maybe a little bit, maybe looking at something to improve each time. And if they ran the rows of their crop north and south, you can pretty much guarantee the other farmers in the community would stop and figure if I need to run my rows north and south because these folks, whatever acre land would produce, they would get the max out of it. And, and they earned that. And, but not only that, they helped the community. They helped their fellow farmer. Didn't make any difference what he was doing or who he was. If it was any time that he needed some help, they were the first ones out to help him. Well, folks, three weeks ago on a consignment auction in Iron City, Georgia, we saw a nice John Deere 4320 open station with 5,579 hours on it, sell for 15,500 bucks. Here today, our 4320 has 6,458 hours on it. All right, 11, now 12, come on and get in. Oh, 11,000 dollars, 12,000 dollars. Oh, now 13,000, I get 12, but he get 13, you want it. 13, but I'm gonna get 12, but he get 13,000, but I'm gonna get 13,000 dollars. I'm gonna get 12, 13, but he get 14,000. 14, but I'm gonna get 14, you want it. 13, but I'm gonna get 500, but he get how much you got now. I'm gonna get 13, 14, now 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, here are a few more items that sold on today's sale. So here's twelve thousand dollars. Hey, you change your better all done. Eleven thousand dollars. I can say it's five here, but he gets seven, nine, nine, give it, seven, give it, seven, give it, seven. Eleven thousand dollar bid. Y'all two all done. Ten, five, bid, eleven. So, ten, five. Come back, sir, you're out. Fifty, two, five. Fifty thousand dollar bid. And two and a half, two, and fifty, two, and five, and five, and another, and fifty, two thousand five hundred. Fifty, two, five. I doubt that can ever happen. I'm gonna wanna see some, uh, some trials or something. It'd be a good thing if it worked. The only way I've seen to safely clean aluminum grain and stock trailers is Bright Plus Aluminum Cleaner from Dakota Ag Innovations. With over 15 years of proven performance cleaning all types of aluminum, the results speak for themselves. Dirty, stained, and discolored aluminum trailers don't stand a chance against Bright Plus Aluminum Cleaner. Safely improve the appearance of your aluminum trailers at home and make a statement with Bright Plus. Order today at TrailerCleaner.com or find Bright Plus Aluminum Cleaner at a farm store near you. Do you listen to the TV on high volume or have trouble hearing conversations? Then you would benefit from hearing aids. Don't waste thousands on expensive hearing aids when you can get Nano's revolutionary technology for just $297. Don't be fooled by higher priced hearing aids. The CIC Recharge is a true hearing aid, not an amplifier. With rechargeable technology many customers say is superior to more expensive models. Call now and get not one, but two Nano hearing aids for just $297. 
$187. Plus, we'll add a portable charging case and ship your order absolutely free. The CIC Recharge has a tiny in-the-ear canal design that is nearly invisible. Why keep missing out on important conversations or waste thousands of dollars? Call and get two CIC Recharge hearing aids for only $297 and free shipping. 800-317-7966. Again, that's 800-317-7966. Imagine a knife taking this much abuse and didn't need sharpening. Introducing the incredible NutriBlade knives. They're coated with granite stone nonstick and made of stainless steel. One of the hardest substances on earth. Now everyone can chop, slice, and dice just like a pro. The Easy Grip rubberized handles deliver incredible control and accuracy to chop salads in seconds and cut frozen solid meat with ease and get razor thin slices every time. The nonstick surface means food slides right off and they're dishwasher safe. Plus, they'll stay razor sharp guaranteed. A complete set of chef knives can cost you hundreds, but today you can get this professional six piece set of NutriBlades for just $29.95. Order right now and we'll even ship them to you free. Now get your own NutriBlade knives from Granite Stone. The last knives you'll ever buy. Call 1 800 993 0557 or go to buynutriblade.com. What's that piece of equipment worth? Check out Machine Repeat's auction prices for the answer. Free to view, updated daily, all types of equipment. Go to machinerepeat.com and click on the auction tab, then auction price data. Farm equipment supply chain issues have been in the headlines since 2020. Has the situation improved? Tyne Morgan talked to some industry leaders about their outlook. Supply chain challenges consistently hit agriculture in 2022. We are conditioned to expect the black swans to the point where they're no longer black swans, they're just kind of inevitable disruptions. But a sector still fragile to supply chain issues is the farm machinery and equipment sector. The supply chain challenges that we experienced in 21 and 22 are with us for a little bit longer. But maybe by the end of the year, we'll begin to see uh, some, some return to normalcy, uh, whatever normalcy looks like. Equipment manufacturers across the world are grappling with the same problem. So it could be tracks one day, it could be tires the next day. We have a lot of very unique, you know, high value custom castings, a heat treated custom casting that you can't just go get and it's a very unique supplier. A little bit of a whack-a-mole strategy. It's always something new. Something new is coming up every time and it just happens to be that, you know, castings uh, are our, our current issue and the current challenges but it's always something different. AEM recently conducted a survey of its members showing the biggest supply issue in the ag sector is tracks and those included components and it's semiconductors and chips proving to be an issue for both agriculture and construction. No matter what the item is in scarce supply, the problem is bigger than one part or one company. The underlying issue with all the supply chain challenges are labor. AEM recently surveyed 179 equipment manufacturer executives about the supply chain late last year. 98% of respondents say they still face supply chain issues with more than half experiencing supply chain conditions growing worse, not getting better. And that's why the industry could grapple with labor challenges for years to come, forcing companies like Case IH to come up with creative solutions. The pivot to, to get product to customers is doing different things with labor, sourcing, strategic sourcing. We're not out of the woods, but we're certainly in a better place than where we were, let's say, a year, year and a half ago. Uh, but we're just going to keep fighting to make sure that we're ready for whatever the customers need from us. Growing optimism, even with some bumps, still ahead as ag equipment manufacturers navigate uncharted waters with the supply chain. This is a 1951 A John Deere high crop. The good thing about it, they didn't make very many of them, and uh, uh, I, I suppose that one, a few of them was enough, probably. I drove that on a uh, tractor cruise 80 some miles. I couldn't walk for about three days. <laughs> it rides rough and it steers hard, but uh, they're kind of an attraction because they've there was so many of them made, and uh, they used them for veg and vegetable. They didn't make a great many of them. I think two, 200 and some odd of them, but they are high, 
hard to find and they they get kind of attached to them. This guy had it in the salvage yard and that was the place for it <laughs> in that salvage yard. It was it was really rough. It had been come from the west coast and the sheet metal was all completely eat off of it. Bought it over in Kansas and uh, had a trailer over there and, and so we bought it. I've spent more money on it than it, it's, it's worth. <laughs> it, but they like them, people, people like them. We worked on it off and on, I suppose, maybe two, two and a half years. But the darn thing always would run really good and just, you could just about count. You know, she just pop, pop, pop. And it really, really was a good running thing, but it was a miserable driving thing. <laughs> Folks, stay with us. Coming up, red hot John Deere 30 series tractors. Our feature item, the John Deere 8130's got 9,563 hours on. Today, when you're looking for a way to harvest more corn, you can count on Drago to get the job done. With self-adjusting deck plates, more aggressive gathering chains, and longer knife rollers for less ear bounce, Drago corn heads make every hybrid yield better. You'll like their durability too. No other corn head works like a Drago or pays you back like one. Visit your Drago dealer and see how you can justify owning a Drago on ROI alone. You can't spell farm without us. Farmers deserve an ag lender invested in their success and the future of their operations. That's ARM. Ag resource management has the experience you want in a lender. Operating lines, crop insurance, real estate loan and equipment leasing services. Our proven local team works with you to keep you growing this season and for seasons to come. We finance agriculture differently. Call or visit us online to find a true partner at ARM. In America, millions of people, including children, are facing hunger. I only have $10 in my checking account, but it will be okay. I at least have food because of this pantry. Donna from Washington. The Feeding America network of food banks helps provide over 6 billion meals to people in need each year, like Donna. Together, we can end hunger. Learn more at feedingamerica.org. You like to keep your beard perfectly groomed, but she hates all that mess. Now there's VacuTrim by Bell & Howell, the total body shaver that trims your hair and vacuums it up. VacuTrim stainless steel blades give you a precision cut, while the built-in vacuum captures the hair shavings. It has 20 trim settings to shape your beard and tame body hair with no mess. Get VacuTrim with free shipping for only $39.95. Call 1-800-263-3960. That's 1-800-263-3960 or go to VacuTrim.com. Got equipment to sell privately but tired of scams and hassles? Visit MachineRepeat.com and click Sell Mine. MachineRepeat.com, the simple and secure way to buy and sell equipment online. Well, folks, good condition pre-def Preacher 4 tractors have been red hot the last two and a half years. I've been writing about it right and left. Now, they've been so hot. That, for example, on a John Deere 8130, the current average auction price, 131787 bucks, and the current average dealer advertised price, almost the exact same, 131989 bucks. Now, our feature item on the show today, this 8130, has got 9,563 hours on it. Eighty thousand of the minutes, and I'm going to take a big, 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 big
All right, folks, here's the deal. Coming into the sale today, the highest auction price I'd ever seen on a John Deere 8130 with over 9,000 hours. It was back on New Year's Eve 2014. BigIron.com sold it at about $60,001. We smashed that today, our feature item, 8130, 9,563 hours, 82.5. Well, folks, it's not just the super low-hour tractors that are setting record auction prices here the last year or two, smashing records. Now, those low-hour ones definitely are, but what we've begun to see the last six to nine months are higher-hour tractors in good condition doing the same thing. Now, when you go to our website, machinerypeat.com, all the auction prices are free to look at. We have all kinds of filters you can use there, and you can filter by hour range. And when you do that, boy, you're going to see some interesting things here lately. Now let's take an example of one recent auction, uh, February 25th, in New Waterford, Ohio. Here's a picture of a 2012 John Deere 8335R on this sale. It had 3,198 hours on it, sold for $213,000. Now that's the highest auction price ever on an 8335R with over 3,000 hours. Also on that sale was this 2010 John Deere 8295R. 2,504 hours, sold for 200,000 bucks. Same story here, folks. That's the highest auction price ever on a 10 model 8295R with over 2,500 hours. And one last tractor on that auction was the Sharp 2012 John Deere 8310R, 3,300 hours, sold for $205,000. Second highest auction price ever on an 8310R with over 3,000 hours. Well, folks, they're still selling tobacco barns, the star barns behind me. They had 46 of them selling today. Tell you what, always fun to come back to North Carolina, down here into tobacco country. The people, just so nice. And I hope you enjoyed that hot bidding action on that John Deere 8130. Catch you back here next week, Machine Repeat TV. Machine Repeat thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, a big iron company. Let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. No other cornhead works like a Drago or pays you back like one. Visit your Drago dealer and see for yourself. Protect Systems, it's what professionals choose to clean, polish, and protect their equipment. Protect Systems products are easy to use and provide consistent, professional results every time. Big Iron Auctions and the Share Your Legacy program, promoting the future of agriculture with amazing legacy stories from across America.